Hello YouTube, my name is Captain Darren, my call sign is N4VFR, and today I have good news. I have resolved the issue with my RSBA1 software and the ICOM IC7300. I am now able to remote control my radio from anywhere within the local area network or outside my house using the internet. Stay tuned, I'm going to show you what I did to fix it. I'm going to show you my laptop. I don't have a USB-A connection. So on the right side of my laptop, those are two USB-C connections. Over to the left side, I have two USB-C connectors. So what I used was this cable right here. It has a USB-C connection on one end and the USB-B. And that's the cable or that's the end that plugs to the back of your ICOM 7300. Okay, so one of the things that I did was I had this uh, USB-C hub and that has three USBs, a card reader, one USB, well it just says, it says DCN, but uh, that's a USB-C and it also has an HDMI cable. So I'm using one of these USB ports to connect to the ICOM 7300. Okay, so with the cable issue resolved, what I also did was I uninstalled my USB codec drivers. So how you do that? First, you go down to your search and look for device manager. I went to device manager and uh, I went to the ports and I selected the all the Silicon Lab USB to UART bridges. I selected all those one at a time and I did a right mouse click and I uninstalled the driver. So I did all of that and uh, I'm not going to do it here. The next thing what I did was I verified all the IC7300 uh, configurations. Okay, so I followed these steps here. All right, I'm not going to go over that with you. The next thing that I did was I uninstalled the RSB1 software. So how you install that is you need to click on the CD where it says setup. You need to run that process over again and it's going to ask you a question. Do you want to uninstall? And I said yes. I installed that. I uninstalled the, the uh, remote control utility program. I uninstalled that completely. And when that's finished you close out and it's going to tell you to run the setup again if you want to reinstall the RSB A1 software and that's what I did. After I reinstalled the software I went down to verify my COM port and make sure that I knew what it was. So how you do that again was you type in the device manager and go to your ports, just double click and you'll see it there. For me, it's COM port 5. All right, after I verified the COM port, um, I installed the software. Okay, the first thing I did was I ran the utility program. I did the wizard. I clicked on setup as a server and then click next to continue and so on and so on. I typed in new and 
all that stuff is the same. I didn't change anything. I kept it as USB and whatever the default one. I didn't do the manual uh, setup because that's not going to work. Most of the time you'll get the wrong settings anyways. So I did that. I'm not going to go through that process again. All right. So let me show you the connection to the radio. Click on this. Connect. My radio is already turned on. Okay. Sir, the port five. Okay, now connected to the radio. Okay, that's uh, that's 20 meters um, FT8. So I'm gonna go seven megahertz, 40 meter band. That's the frequency I hang out. I hang out at the Mabuhay net. Uh, a lot of Filipino ham radio operators are uh, there. And uh, let me do a test. Let me break in. I got, I'm only running at 100 watts. A break in for VFR. N5 UTC, this is N4 VFR. You're my first contact uh, using the RSBA1 remote control software, and I'm using the ICOM 7300. How do you copy? This is November 4, Victor, Foxtrot, Romeo. Over. Oops, I accidentally disconnected. <laughs> the, the, the problem is, if you look at the transmit and the, the on and off button, it's real close. Okay, uh, let me turn down my volume. I'm back with you. I accidentally uh, pushed the turn off button and not the transmit button. Your signal is 5.9 also. Uh, I appreciate it. I'm making a YouTube video, so uh, your transmission and on audio is recorded, and I will uh, put this on the, um, on the YouTube channel. Uh, back to you, uh, UTC, uh, this is N4VFR. Okay, QSL, yeah, I was able to uh, fix it in the last two days. Uh, yesterday I had a surprise birthday party, and uh, today is my birthday. So I fixed it on my birthday, and uh, it's working well. So I'm making the video, and uh, I'll post this as uh, in my YouTube channel. So uh, I'll talk to you later, 73s, and this is N4 VFR. Okay, QSL, I, I understand that. I think it's because I'm using the laptop uh, microphone uh, instead of the hand mic from the ICOM. So I understand that. I'm, I need to probably pick up a, a good quality headset for uh, good audio. Um, not really so much hi-fi, but for, for ham radio. Okay, uh, N5 UTC, this is N4 VFR. I'll talk to you later, 73s. Captain uh, 73 and, and bye bye for now. I'll see you in the future down the lot. 73 for now. So back to you, Carol Gunn, the A6RV from N5 UTC. So it's working. That was my first contact, uh, and uh, I'm happy. Uh, let's take a look uh, on my little notes here. 
after I, uh, yeah, that's it. And I got it working. Tried all the, okay. This is a uh, important thing for those that have uh, problems. Um, the laptop that I'm using, it's the Dell XPS 17. It's a brand new laptop. And uh, I found out that when you have your USB COM port connected, your cable, for example, uh, a cable, like on the end of this cable. Remember I said I have four ports. Well, I tried one port. I tried the second port, the third port, it worked. And then I tried the fourth port and that didn't work. So one out of the four ports was able to transmit or was able to um, receive or, or both, both ways. And that's what I did for troubleshooting. So I spent like more than four days. So I finally did it on my birthday. So, uh, Congratulations to me. One thing I forgot to mention, um, and I, I skipped it on my notes, was let me close out of this here. Let me exit. Um, when you're connected on the, uh, what do you call this? On the radio here, look at the bottom here. It says modulation or MOD. You want to go and verify that your mic is selected. When I try to transmit, it wouldn't transmit it's because that mic wasn't uh, highlighted close out of there uh, I'm gonna show you another thing to check uh, I'm going back to my remote control window while you're connected you want to take a look at this setting go under file go to remote settings you want to make sure you're connected to mic USB the next thing to check is your mic set you want to make sure that's set to USB. I saw a YouTube video about this here. You see how you don't have the knobs? It's so easy. Let me reconnect. It's so easy to, to use a slider instead of the, the knobs, like you, you do this with your mouse to you change the frequency and so on. Okay. So where you go is right here under, let me move this aside, under set mode. You look at where it says controllers, you click on that or right mouse click, go edit, and then you go to the knobs. You see the knobs that I'm talking about? It's much easier to utilize the slider. You got your squelch, you got the RF gain, turn it down, turn it up, and then the volume control. Because this is my remote server, I'm always going to leave this ICOM remote utility running. Okay. Another program that I use is called Team Viewer. All right. So Team Viewer, you you might want to use that just because if you're at a remote location and something the sound card changed configurations, at least you can teleport to your laptop and make the changes and then hopefully you can correct it at the at another location what i also did was on my asus router i enabled port forwarding and that's located under the wan wide area network and then under the virtual server port forwarding i enabled it and I labeled it as the RSBA1 remote control and the ports 50001 through 50003. And I'm not sure how to do it, but I went ahead and put in my internal port um, 50003 and then the IP address. Um, I use both protocols and then the source IP address. So that's it for my port forwarding and it, and it worked. Well, I finally fixed it after maybe more than four days struggling in between work. Um, I'm an airline pilot, so I'm in the hotel room. I'm thinking about hmm, what could be the problem. But anyways, it's fixed on my birthday. And uh, thank you for watching. My name is Captain Darren, 
My call sign is N4VFR. If you like my videos, please give me a like, subscribe to my videos, and let's go play some tennis with some mosquitoes. Thank you for watching. Till next time, 73s.